The Daily Graphic this morning says 21 suspected Western Togoland secessionists rounded up. Jampo Butako suspended six and four months respectively without pay. They are also to, uh, supposed to undergo five years of some reformation and all of that. Regional Spotlight Initiative. Volta Regional Minister commends graphic. Achievements silence skeptics. Other vows will be kept. President says as he tours the OT region, comes with a very beautiful picture of the president, another Dunkwe Kufado. The back page, ECG bus, small-scale mining firm. And police arrest suspected robber accomplice at Abokobi. The Daily Guide. OT booms with massive development. Fresh arrest over Kaswa Cops murder. You remember Eric Kojodria? was trying to flee, uh, well, he's, he's still in the grips of the law. One more suspect, you're told, has been arrested. Uh, soldier swoop on Volta rebels and special needs teachers set up in, for Cuba. The Ghanaian Times, another suspect nabbed in connection with murder of Ness. Um, Ruth Ishen, uh, justice for her, that's the hashtag that's trending. Sex for grades. Professor Jampo, Dr. Butako, slapped with six months, four months suspension, respectively. Get Fund saves uh, 22.7 million Ghana cities in audit review of 2017 to 2019 contract payments. Stealing of ECG power, small scale mining companies surcharged 1.5 million Ghana cities. 21 secessionists nabbed as military soup on hideout at Georgia. They get a free uh, plane ride to Accra. Four fully equipped clinics in Bono left to rot as health workers refuse uh, to accept postings. You complain, the postings are here, you say you won't go. Why? The final newspaper, equitable distribution of development. President assures new regions. Soldiers seize 20 persons at suspected secessionist training camp, the youngest being 19 years old. Unipass to be officially piloted on February 21. The government trapped into uh, over $100 million uh, possible judgment debt. Over what? Find the finder and get to find out the details. My guest this morning, Honorable Andrew Japamesa, is a lawyer, is also a member of the uh, MPP's communication team and the sitting MP for the uh, second D constituency. He hopes to stay in Parliament to represent his people. And the Honorable Dr. Clement Apak is the member of Parliament for the Busa South, he's a member of the Education Committee in Parliament as well. Uh, so. So uh, Yes. I uh, say, welcome. Good morning. Morning. Day. Day. Well, yeah. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be multilingual. No, no, it's good. It's good. Yeah, I'm trying my best. So the president is in, let's start from um, OT region. The president is touring. He says that the other vows will be kept and that the achievements is what will shut the, the skeptics up because a lot has been done and so as as has become the mantra now four more for nana to do more that's what is, is, is out there but on the other side the conversation is that you have not done enough to say you want to be kept in there so what is your justification is it what the president says or what the other side is saying what should the electorates know and hear well good morning uh, to my cherished viewers mm. My very good friend and uh, Vimit, <laughs> uh, my deputy chief vandal, <laughs> chief of park, the Commonwealth Affairs. Uh, I know, eh? <laughs> you, you know. Uh, you see, uh, it's interesting when you hear the people who say mm. that you haven't done enough to want another three years, mm -hmm. uh, particularly when you relate it to their own claim mm -hmm. of their track record which is the effect that in their eight years, mm -hmm. they achieved some 54 significant infrastructure and social intervention programs. Mm -hmm. And that out of that list, mm -hmm. only three is attributed to President Mills. Right. Introduction of free school uniform, free school sandals, and the commencement of rehabilitation of Tamale General Hospital. Mm -hmm. Teaching Hospital. Teaching Hospital, okay. That's according mm -hmm. to them. Only three? Yes, according to the NDC. In four years? According to them, not me. And if you relate that to the achievements that the NPP has chopped, mm. as was espoused eloquently by His Excellency the Vice President, only last week, in all sectors of the economy, clearly, if 
we are mm. given the opportunity to sell for another 10 mm. would exceed the 54 achievements that the NDC <coughs> claim that they achieved in eight years. Mm. So it's important that as we go along, uh, we tout our achievements, particularly when, when we came into power. Mm -hmm. The call, the tune that our friends sang most loudly. Mm -hmm. And I recall the minority leader, my very good friend, also heavy meet, <coughs> Haruna Idrusu, mm -hmm. say that where is the fiscal space? When you take wages and salaries, interest payments mm -hmm. and statutory payments, all your tax revenue is gone. And that there was no way that mm -hmm. this government could roll out the programs and policies that they had outlined in its manifesto. Mm -hmm. That is not the story today. What's the story? The story is that we've indeed rolled out many, not all, mm -hmm. as we have honestly admitted to the people of Ghana. But significantly, 78% mm -hmm. of our campaign promises have been delivered or are in the process of being delivered. Because some of them are not <laughs> time bound. Uh, it takes some time mm -hmm. to uh, achieve all of it. Mm -hmm. uh, and so clearly, uh, the, the call or the expectation of okay. our friends in the NDC that were not going to be able to do anything mm. because there was no money. And <coughs> indeed, they themselves admitted that, you know, uh, Ghana's financial situation was not in the best of shapes. Mm. Hence, their quick run to the IMF for a bailout in 2015. You stayed with the IMF when you came. But of course, uh, Pacta suit Savannah, isn't it? Parties are bound by contracts that mm -hmm. they execute. Mm -hmm. Ghana, as a state, had executed an agreement with the IMF to do a certain program. Mm -hmm. We couldn't exit. Indeed, all the benchmarks that our friends agreed to, mm -hmm. 18 months after the implementation of the program, they hadn't achieved one. And it was important for us to make sure, because exiting midway, not achieving the benchmarks that this country had contracted to, mm -hmm. was going to have impact on the financial market international financial environment and everything was going to have an impact on Ghana. So you stayed in there, but the city doesn't look stronger anyway. Oh, you still say the same thing is today. It, is it not? When the city is outperforming the dollar on the global financial markets, as it, we speak. Is it? Oh, but I thought this was uh, well-known. Uh, uh, or you want me to but, articulate but, but, but it? If you fail your class test, <laughs> you fail your eye. But you, you see, your mid -sem, you see, and then all of a sudden you write Johnny, a final exam and you, you pass a hundred significantly. You say you are the best student, significantly. In no, and I'm not saying that uh, the tide cannot change, but we have consistently said, mm -hmm. and if you look at the data, which we always make reference to, mm -hmm. now let's speak to the data, not the propaganda, okay, not the spin, mm -hmm. the data 25 years straight, the city has suffered depreciation. And the reason is well known to all of us. Right. We are an import-dependent country. Mm -hmm. The paradigm we are working on changing, moving away from the Goggins Beck economy into a productive sector. Mm -hmm. But that will not happen overnight. It will take time. But look at the trend of how we have been able to manage the city mm -hmm. such that the rate of depreciation is far lower than when our friends were in government. These are matters of fact. Okay? Mm -hmm. So if because of prudent economic management, because of the global ratings that we are receiving today, mm -hmm. the city is performing better. Okay. We can only celebrate the, the, the competence of the government in managing the resources of this country. Let, let's stay in Oti region. One of the things that the president said was the, the, that the roads, for example, in, in, the, in Quantum Municipality and the Oti region in general will come upstream shortly and we'll see a lot of improvements. This year has been touted the year of roads. And the farmers in the Nkwanta district and some portions of it, because of the bread, bread basket, have been complaining about the nature of roads. Yet another promise has been made to them, as was said in 2016, 2012. They keep hearing the promises, but the delivery is, is becoming a problem. Is this promise to be trusted? Is it not interesting that we are still talking of roads in this country when our friends essentially told us in their green book mm -hmm. and during the 2016 campaign. In fact, when the then candidate Aguvado was touring the Western region mm -hmm. and made comments to the effect that 
we are told that the roads have been done mm -hmm. and that all my rounds in the western region clearly show that the roads don't exist we're told that he was sleeping so how come we are still talking about roads today because the roads were just not done mm -hmm. we've come into government three years issues and some challenges have been encountered mm -hmm. we've been able to resolve some of them and we are redirecting our focus into road construction this year okay okay I know many districts across this country that are seeing roads, mm -hmm. including my constituency second D. Yeah. And I do not have any cause to doubt that the President's the pro president promised to the people of Nkwanta mm -hmm. that the municipality's roads will be fixed this year. It's, it's, it's in doubt at all. You don't doubt it's it? Happen. Not at all. Not in the least. Because His Excellency the President is not known to make empty promises. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. So these roads are going to be done. Mm -hmm. They tell us that we've been in government, we borrowed. Mm -hmm. You hear them? Yeah. With nothing to show for. Has it not been their cry all these three years? All right. They say you're borrowed. As if you say they don't live in this country. You see? It's not and, a crime. And, and I tell you that, you see, Johnny, it's disingenuous for members of parliament mm -hmm. who approve loan facilities, mm -hmm. who know that every single loan item is meant for a specific purpose. Right. To turn around and say that government has borrowed with nothing to show for. Why? Would the project spring up from the sky? But when you borrow for a certain objective and the objective is not achieved. But how time, how how you, how do you, you measure that, that how do you measure that the objective has not been achieved? Okay. Why don't they ask the relevant questions? Like that oh that you came for X amount of money to okay. build X road. Right. What's the status? That's the essence of parliamentary questions. Right. And they ask questions all well, the time. Okay. And ministers okay. provide answers all the time. Okay. Thank but you. it's, 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 it's exciting right. for them and, to, to and, and to convenient for them to come and sit on radio and TV and say that, oh, you borrowed money, there's nothing to show for it. Is that, is that a fact? Okay. Doc, you take know. a bite. Bobo says the, the promise that has been made will be kept. The roads will come up. The farmers will smile one more time. And in fact, they deserve another round because compared to what you achieved and what they have achieved, you know, they are better managers than you. Well, Johnny, let me say good morning to you again and uh, say good morning to... Uh, he, he will quickly run Bobo. to second interchange. We will compare you first them to first them. And uh, let, me say, <laughs> let, let me say good morning to... I said we will compare uh, first them to first Let me say good morning to our viewers uh, <laughs> across the country, particularly the Bulsers, Bulls, mm -hmm. and Bulls. Of course, naturally. I mean, he has sought to claim that they have a better record. Right. First and uh, therefore, you know, they should be given another opportunity. Right. Well, naturally, I'm of the contrary opinion. What's your opinion? Now, he made, he made a, a number of uh, claims. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he spoke about, you know, the fictitious assumption that they had achieved about 78% right. in terms of uh, fulfilling their manifesto premises. They showed you data. Well, that, when the president himself uh, met and interacted with the media, mm -hmm. what percentage did he give himself? 72. So why is there the disparity? But but example, between, no, no. Between, December, what, what is the disparity? between December and February, there's been some time. Well, they have not been able to demonstrate that. And many Ghanaians have found that very interesting mm -hmm. that the president and his vice would grade their own government and their own manifesto mm -hmm. promise fulfillments in different uh, figures. But be as it may, he, he spoke about the issue of rules. We all know that rules are very important. Everybody knows that. And indeed, we had invested massively in the road sector, road infrastructure. See it? We never said anywhere that we had constructed every single road or every single road was asphalted. Mm -hmm. But those that we did, the evidence is there to show. And those that we were doing, mm -hmm before we, you know, left power. Mm. They came and they chose not to continue. If you remember very vividly, one of the first things that they did was to, if you like, put a freeze, mm -hmm. to put a halt on all road construction projects. Right, for an audit. For an audit. Right. As we speak now, they claim to have done the audit. Mm -hmm. I don't hear or I have not seen or heard anyone being held accountable mm -hmm. or being taken to court for doing anything untoward. But within the context of conducting that audit, mm -hmm. a lot of work that was progressing mm -hmm. came to a halt. So a number of roads that had reached 50%, 60%, even 80% completion rate mm -hmm. deteriorated over the period. And now, rather than having to have continued from where we left off to finish them, now the state, not even them, the state, by virtue 
of their vindictive nature mm -hmm. and they attempt to try and create conditions that they can then use later on to say that we hadn't done anything. Mm -hmm. They stopped these road projects mm -hmm. and now they have declared this uh, final year of theirs in office as the year of roads. Mm -hmm. Well, we are waiting to see. But what is very painful is that they wasted mm -hmm. the taxpayers' money to conduct an audit. Mm -hmm. And we have not seen the outcome of that audit. Okay. There are even questions about who performed that audit mm -hmm. and the amounts of money that the state expended mm -hmm. for that audit. Mm -hmm. Secondly, the roads that were ongoing mm -hmm. have deteriorated and now we have to pay more as a state, as a nation, mm -hmm. to fix them. And thirdly, the people who should have benefited mm -hmm. from these road construct, uh, constructions are suffering, including the people in Guantanamo. But you know, when he talks about their achievements, I laugh. And he why, says why, that why do you laugh? He says that we only had fifty four. I mean, have they not seen the green book? He said you have haven't they gone through it? Only show them Don't they know as he said uniform, free sandals. Well, and you know, and Johnny, you know that cannot, of that cannot be true. Hospital. You know, he has been the one who began with the propaganda. And yet he sought to caution me not to return the favor. Mm -hmm. I mean he spoke about the circle interchange. It is there for everyone to see. That's in your second term. It's an, it's an achievement. That was in your second term. He, we can also speak about the Kaswa interchange. That was in we your second term as well. We started expanding the Takrari and Tema Pops. He is from Takrari. That's your second term. He is from Takrari. All the three you have stated now was in your second term. But that was under John Damani Mama. We are going head to head. Four years to four years. Okay. Yeah, it's as simple as like that. <laughs> four years, years to four years. years. Okay. Look, the <laughs> days when there was the perception that it was a party that was in power and therefore the party had to do to, uh, eight years. Those are gone. Okay. We are going to look at the personalities. We are going to look at their achievements. We are going to go head for head. Okay. And you know, Not boot in the area, much. well, boot for boot as well, if, 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 if you may choose that. But you said in the area, in the area of uh, education, mm -hmm. we know, of course, they would speak about the implementation of the free senior high school policy. Well and good. It is something that is born out of the constitution. Mm -hmm. They had a different approach. We had a different approach. They have come. They are using public resources. Mm -hmm. We wanted to succeed. But the challenge is, are they addressing Piyak, them? Piyak has but raised how many? issues. How for many? Example, exactly. has raised issues exactly. about uh, food that is yeah. not wholesome. The challenges of uh, lack of uh, adequate space, mm -hmm. lack of furniture, I mean, I mean, the, the, the burden on uh, senior management mm -hmm. and non-teaching mm -hmm. staff, the intimidation of uh, masters and senior managers mm -hmm. who have the courage to speak out ab about the but challenges they face. I saw, saw Ningo's secondary technical high school, a picture on the floor. Of students on the floor. Exactly. Yeah. But, but they, the government they, has they, admitted so, that these challenges So let's, let's work to address them and we would fix it because they have failed so far. They've told us that they are constructing some 962 structures across the country on various campuses to ease the pressure. We have challenged them. Give us the list. Where they are located. When but you are with the education committee. I have, have you seen them? I have filed those questions. The ones that I saw when we were traveling mm. were only at the foundational level. Okay. Very few. They were I not must built. Admit. They were not built. Oh, to, well, I mean, you to you, accommodate you, you people. Do your round. So you see, when you want to engage in this debate, and then you recognize that you have borrowed mm. in excess of all the previous governments combined since Nkrumah's days, mm. and yet you don't have anything to show for it. You cannot expect Ghanaians mm. to give you another four years. Another four years to do what? He says you're to being more disingenuous when you to make that more. claim. Because no, that argument, you, you sit that in parliament, must you know that every loan must that go argument. to a specific Johnny, purpose. I have the right to make that argument. Okay. He can choose to describe my intentions or my motivations the way he deems fit. I am not obligated to take his critique. Mm. I am speaking but, to but the people But is he right in his, in his uh, They have borrowed possession. in excess of what other previous governments have borrowed. Let's do the loans they head have for not, head. They have not shown us mm -hmm. what they have used the money for. What they have done, as we know, is that they have an obese government mm -hmm. squandering the taxpayers' money, paying a lot of people mm -hmm. to do the same job. I mean, why did you have to dis dismember the Ministry of Transport mm -hmm. into three different segments when one or two persons could have done the job? Look at Agric, for example, and the number of presidential staffers I mean, it's a shipload. They have appointed aides and PROs mm. all over the place, paying them big salaries and allowances. Is that the best way to utilize the taxpayers' uh, uh, resources? Then, you know, he, he, he talks about the CD dollar issue. Right. Everybody knows that. I mean, when they were in opposition, the rhetoric, the language, the mm. posturing, mm. I mean, they made Ghanaians believe 
Okay. That they had the magic. You have to be wrapping up for me. To make sure that the CD and the dollar were at par. What do we see today? And now they are making excuses that the rate of depreciation is slower. Really? Is that what you told Ghanaians in opposition? So you see, that, that's a step. Is the, the, the president can say all that he wants. Mm -hmm. He's the president. He can keep making promises. In his last year before he exits, the people can decipher. As the saying goes, they have tasted alcohol. They have tasted water. They know the difference. The difference is that they would give your mama another mm -hmm. opportunity to come and continue from where he Which of the two is alcohol? Which of the two is water? Which, whichever is savior. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, take, take a minute hey, and let him take a minute. It's interesting. Is your party is alcohol or water? You see, oh, well, we leave it for Ghanaians to. Okay. Well, water is life. So mm. the MPP so you, you are water, is hey. water. Okay. You see, it's interesting. And it was deliberate that I mentioned that they did, they claim, they did only three things in their first thing. He said that's according to you. Oh, according to a list that they I themselves have said. I haven't look, seen look, that. Look, look. And I refer oh, it to oh, a green oh, book. Oh, if oh, you look oh, at oh. it, definitely you can find more than three. Okay. It's not a problem. But I know for a fact mm -hmm. that many of these projects that he outlines started during the most era. Except that it wasn't completed. Mm -hmm. But they want to dissipate the legacy of present males you won't get and away attribute with everything to Mr. Mahama. So, for example, Atuabo, mm. Ghana Gas Processing. Right. We all know when the loan was contracted, but it was completed during Mr. Mohammed's time. So, if you look at what it is that we have done in mm. our four years, mm -hmm. and what it is that is in the pipeline, obviously when we get eight years, your track record will not be anywhere close. That's a matter of fact. Okay. Because the truth of the matter is, projects take time to get completed. Government procure funds and start the execution of projects and it takes time for those mm. projects to be, as it were, Completed. completed okay. and commissioned. Mm. And that is what happened during their second term that they're taking credit they, they, and no, not I, even I, I say recognizing they, they, that they, they, they President Mills mm. did something that Ghana ought to celebrate. The with. concern is that the distribution of national cake is going at a very slow rate. And that is the, the point that most Ghanaians are. So look, you g perhaps you give them so much hope, you give them so much um, expectation, and they can't seem to see the speed running along the lines that you promised. And that's, that's where the complaints but, are coming but from. But you see, Johnny, this is a government that inherited this banking sector crisis mm. that had to take immediate remedial steps mm. to prevent a complete crash of mm. our financial system. In excess of 15 billion, that mm. was not planned, that was not anticipated, mm. has had to be expended to save the financial sector. You think it will impact our ability to deliver on some of our promises? This is a government that inherited huge sums of mm. contracts that has to be paid mm. in the energy sector. In excess of $60 million per month mm. for power we don't need. You think it will impact? But in spite of all these challenges, relate what we have done mm -hmm. with their track record. Somebody says that when relate, you, when you came, relate our performance in managing the economy. Somebody says that when you came, you knew that all these problems existed. No. And yet you you sought to fix them and you were still making capital investments, for example, free SHS and infrastructural and, and branding for food and jobs. And somebody said you had too much in your hands but at the time. You, see, you were juggling too many things. Can you begin to imagine mm. the cost of living in excess of 100,000 Ghanaian children per year out of school after JHS? Can you begin to? And what that would be in mm. 10, 20 years for this country? Mm. So we didn't have a choice. We had to do what we had to do to preserve and protect mm. the human capacity of this country. Okay. By making sure mm. that 13 year, 14 year old kids mm -hmm. were not left to roam on our streets because their parents could not afford to take them to school. Okay. Thank you. What's important? Doc, no, no, take, yeah, take your, yeah, take your yeah, two yeah, minutes yeah, yes, and then we yes, will switch yes, the topic. Yes, uh, to something that I, I want to say. Yeah, banking about. crisis. Mm. It's not as though work was not being done to address these mm. matters. And we have said, 
that they, they could have been an, an alternative way. To play Russian they could have been an where, alternative where way allow him of dealing with this matter. You dealt with the alternative. Would allow him. By providing liquidity support. Would have sat for them to play chaskele with those sorts of other members. What are we talking about? Without expending the amount of resources, taxpayers' resources, that were expended. It was not needed. It could have been done. Why was, in a why was it not needed? Well, the, it, it has happened before in different parts of the world. And what you do? And how did you do it? Because I that remember that in the run-up to the you, 2016 you elections, in, you, you, you floated bonds. You floated bonds. Could be salvage and supported. Mm. You floated you bonds. You started the, the ESLA. You provide was the it financial to solve it? You provide the financial support mm. for them to thrive. That way, you save jobs. You give them a lifeline mm. to recover. And then depositors, where, many where, of whom today are not being paid, where the banks not would not have where to some suffer of the banks not giving the money, like Capital suffering. Bank was giving six hundred and twenty million. But, but was it only and they, and they used the money don't to go know, and start a new you, bank. Don't you know of other banks that shouldn't and have they close been the eyes. So hold on, hold on allow me to do my work. Please. You understand? So oh. when he speaks about that, yes, there's been a situation. But is that the prudent way? But I'm saying to that the issue? Th this recapitalization no, no, we, you are we, talking we about, are, we are dealing with what they have. No, done. I'm saying he this recapitalization. Hold on, hold on, dog. Listen to me. Dog, allow me. He is making the this case. This recapitalization that you are talking yes. about, Capital Bank, for example, was giving 620 million of Ghanaian taxpayers' money, Johnny. and the purpose was for them to liquidate the business. They took I the money not, and not, started another bank. I am you. not excusing. You sat on your I am not say. excusing no, their uh, crime. Allow me. I am not excusing you their crime. You sat and your eyes. Bo, bo, allow saying. him to make his point. I am not yes. excusing their crime. Okay. What I am saying is that this could have been handled differently. How? And there wouldn't have been the need to expend this level of resources. When, when money because was given to them to start all over again, you are and they chose this. to use the money. You are making your comment assuming that that was the only bank. It wasn't. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't only Capital Bank. And as, as I've said, I am not excusing what has happened right or that we are trying to make wrongdoing look acceptable okay. that is not a point it is the approach that okay. they adopted in okay. resolving this okay. which has cost us money that i believe we that should not have expected. and you are worried that about the depositors funds as well yes because the government I, has promised that they will be paid and why are they not the vice president paid? says this year they so will be when paid. are they going to be paid these are questions that Ghanaians need to know now you spoke about the issue of uh, the, the power sector ah, is it not the same president who has made pronouncements about exporting power from Ghana? Right. I mean, how did he expect to export that power if we had not increased our generation? The initial conversation is that our power is too <laughs> no. expensive how, how to be exported. How did he expect to do that? Ours, our, ours is see, expensive, that's what we're told. I, I didn't want to say this, but you know they have tried to claim some glory mm -hmm. that they had resolved the rather irritating, erratic power supply that we've come to. Name the vice so. president has said before that the vice president Ma said president Mahama clearly that deserve Mahama did not deserve credit mm. for solving a problem that we created. So how then do you turn around to try and claim glory for something that you yourself uh, okay that two minutes up? No, the free senior high school. Okay. Yes, I agreed earlier on, and we have said that. Yes, it has come to stay. Mm. He said we, it was we, impossible. We, we and that they could only do it in twenty we, years. We would reinforce it. We would address the challenges that you and I know mm. that have been re echoed by Pia. But you see, make no mistake, in the amount that Ghana owes, mm. the free senior high school policy mm -hmm. has not garnered in terms of the cost okay. in excess of five billion. Okay. But what were we told? That it was impossible to do. In excess of five billion. Today you know and that so the cost when only five MPP seeks to respond Today you to know. every single challenge, mm. every single shortcoming, by making references to the implementation of the free senior high school policy. That cannot be true. Okay. So you mean to say that they have had more money to, to be laid to that. five billion and saying that that is it? He knows they have had more money. Mm -hmm. I mean, everyone knows that our oil revenues mm -hmm. in the time that we were in power versus the time that they are in power. It is not even comparable. 600 million of it which is, is being even used comparable. to pay for power we don't need. Not even comparable. 600 he million knows that per year. This government and that money is being used has been the luckiest. But, but, but because of the luckiest government, but if you don't need the luckiest government, if you don't need the excess in power, the history of the why are you public? putting out that multi-purpose dam at Polugo that also has you power see, generation capacity? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see, that's excess power. No, hold on, still on to the but grid. because that's why it's only 60 megawatts. But it's still because, extra. Of, of course, 60 because is, is power and, 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 and of course less in the long term. Okay. Okay, because the 
purpose of the dam mm -hmm. in itself, the primary purpose, is to regain 24,000 hectares of agricultural land, even okay. that they are opposing it. Okay, we are the single we largest investment in the on the, on the basis of, of the cost. since independence. We, we have done our analysis, so we have made comparisons. They did not Attend with the committee meeting. Dams of mm. similar size. Thankfully, the speaker has more given wattage, them an opportunity more wattage, to participate. Less than $800 million. Okay, thank you. So we are not opposed to it, but we will not allow that to become the president's retirement package. Oh, it is part of whose who's retirement package? We don't, we, we can't allow the, the Kwanwood Dam to become the president's retirement package. Is that money for they the are president? Proud that this government is claiming it needs mm. to be able to construct a dam that will supply us with 60 megawatts of power. It's a, it's a multi purpose dam, that's beyond. what we've been told. We have compared to other parts of the world. I mean, we live in a global. You just do your Google. So, how, how did you come to the conclusion that it's in, the president's in retirement 2008, party? Uh, but, 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 what is in but, for the president? But, but is he not the president? What is in for him? So, all the but contracts he, that Mr. Muhammad did were padded for his retirement package. Is, he not is the that president? what you're telling Ghanaians? Is he not a clearing agent? Were contracts that you did padded I mean, where else has it as means of retirement I mean, package? Are we, are we going to go is that the reason why you brought him? Do you want us to talk about the Asmeri renegotiated bill? Thank you. Do you want us to talk about the PDS? Let's talk about PDS. Let's talk about it. Look, the there's corruption nothing to under it. this government. What are we talking there's about? To it's nauseating. Everybody Look, knows that. I said that. this government should be given a medal. You started the process <laughs> of privatizing ECG. The Miracle Group was shortlisted by your government. Mm -hmm. PDS. Okay? We all this know the Look, involved. the only reason that this PDS became an issue is because our could result on the obligations under the guarantee. That's it. Because they said whoever wrote the authorization did not have that the, was their the power to do. I agree. Mm. And what do you expect a responsible government to do? And you want to talk about PDS? Yes. I, I will deal with PDS any day. Because there's nothing. There is a lot. Nothing. Absolutely what, what nothing. Ah, what are we talking about? What is there? You people, we, we all know Please, the consortium. You think making we the know, noise? We know the background. Makes Makes we know that they didn't out. have the way without. You think? We know that they so didn't why have did the technical So why did you shortlist them? We know that. Why did your government shortlist Miracle? We know. Why did your government shortlist Miracle? You formed your... Why your, did your, your government your, 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 shortlist your, your Miracle? Your own company. Bo -bo -bo. Please. Bo -bo. The word on the that streets them. is that why hasn't anybody been punished for PDS? Exactly. You see... I, I Everybody has walked away free. Allow me. Listen. Though. Listen. I don't know about fraud. Okay. What I know is that the company had an obligation to meet a certain condition. Okay. As of a certain <laughs> date. Mm. As of that date, they produced that document, which mm -hmm. was the guarantee. Mm -hmm. Subsequently, the entity that issued the guarantee said that their officer who issued the guarantee mm. did not have authorization. Absolutely. And so, government was entitled mm. to, as it were, terminate the agreement because that condition had not been met as of first match. Mm. Now, as to whether post the end, you see, I've always said that to understand this issue, mm -hmm. you need to treat the pre-transaction date issues and the post-transaction date issues. Okay. Post-transaction being when management was vested into the hands of PDS. Mm. Whether any of the activities that they carry through has breached any law. But conditions precedent were changed to conditions subsequent, but some of see, them. Which ones? <laughs> Yes. <coughs> the Energy Committee in Parliament, for example, the minority no, side says that but, but there, there was a four of them. Hold on. There was a reason why. Because some actions that were supposed to be, have been taken by the government of Ghana, mm. particularly in relation to the PURC tariff setting, okay. hadn't been done. There was a timeline that mm. Ghana had contracted with the American government to meet. Okay. Please. Thank you. Uh, you think making the noise makes make an action? That's an action. 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 There's nothing. Okay. Indeed, this government ought to be commended for the bold step mm. in defying the American. Because you see, and I agree with the Americans as well, that look, if you look at the nature of what it was that PDS was supposed to provide, mm. it wasn't within their control. And so they technically were not at fault. And so give them an opportunity to provide another guarantee. Okay. But Thank the you. truth of the matter is that as of the contractual date of first month, they hadn't met the obligation. 
And so government was entitled to terminate. Okay. And you uh, sit and say that that was a scandal. But then you are okay. Thank you. Let's let's, let's, go let's go to Esther now. Changing the goalposts. Let's go to Esther now. Right from the one. Say there was fraud. Let's go to Esther now. Please, please. Let's talk. Okay. Are you not aware? Esther now, we're here. We're with you. Said there was fraud. Okay. All right, so a few messages but coming says in this nothing. morning. The minister said there was fraud. I didn't say it. Actually, what's, what's I'll there? ask someone who no, 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 is saying, good morning, Johnny, and your panelists. Indeed, it's obvious that the future is bright. I have leadership of President Sanado. Uh, that's why we're asking the good people of Ghana to give Nana Kufado four more years to do more. My regards to Hajia Humu Awudu. Good morning, Johnny. Please, let's stop comparing mangoes with apples and compare mangoes with mangoes. Compare four years to four years. MPP are smart lies. Abu Spain. Uh, good morning, please. Dr. Clement should be happy because in your raging, Borga Boko Road is ongoing. That is from Dauda in Boko. Good morning, Johnny. Please <laughs> ask Mr. Andy to brief us how yeah, many yeah, of the 350, yeah, how many of the 350 yeah, secondary okay, schools okay, let's hear this one. promised to build in his first term. It seems they have forgotten what they promised us during the campaign from Abu Sufan. Good morning, TV3. Our uh, action speaks louder than millions of words. The MPP should stop blaming their opponents and save the million lives on the road. We are up uploading a lot okay, more messages. So we, we share, so and when we'll share them. We'll Most grateful. Them, yeah. that, that, that all, all week, um, last week and, and some part of uh, the, the weekend and earlier this week, we've been talking about Galamse. There's one other Galamse that for me is heartbreaking. And I know Dr. Park has been on the, on that beat for a very, very long time. The Rosewood uh, thing. It takes about 100 years for one rose to come up. And I've even picking an indication that, in fact, the fall armyworm have been feeding on the rosewood. Now that we are cutting them off, that's why they are attacking the farms. And we spend a lot of money to buy insecticides and all of that. Then a committee was formed to investigate the uh, EIA's um, uh, findings on, on all of that. Doc, you have an interest in this. You're in Parliament. The report has come to Parliament, yes? No? What have you heard? What have you seen? Well, the, the report hasn't come to Parliament. This was a, a ministerial committee that okay. uh, was set up. Okay. Uh, the report that came to Parliament was sometime uh, last year when the Parliamentary Subcommittee on Lands and Forestry <coughs> uh, did a, a tour mm -hmm. of uh, my constituency uh, at the behest of, of the Speaker, mm -hmm. who was, had made a statement and the Speaker had admitted it and referred it to the committee. Okay. And so that report was uh, presented to Parliament. Mm. And I had been hoping that I would see the report being given effect mm. by uh, the, the sector minister. But what we are talking about now is uh, the government's committee that was set up to look at allegations right. uh, leveled against uh, government officials, mm. their uh, Chinese associates and mm. MPP party gurus who were said to be facilitating, participating, and, uh, you know, engaging in this illegality. Who, so, are, who are in the committee? Because uh, the people they, have been they, accused. They, 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 the problem I have, in fact, the, the report has come out. Are they the same people who yes. have been accused who are sitting the, the, to, the, to the, the, the report has since come out. The minister made it public only last week, Friday. I've had a chance to look at it. It's a 77-page report. Okay. And uh, I must say I'm disappointed. Why are you for disappointed? A, a, a number of reasons. The committee has sat for, for a number of reasons. It, and and I, must, I must be very honest and transparent. From the onset, I had a problem with the composition of the committee. Mm -hmm. I felt that the membership of the committee should have been drawn from independent bodies. They invited you. you the didn't void, go. no, as to appear before the committee. Right. And I chose not to go. Why didn't you go? I have no faith in the committee. I mean, when you have a report that is uh, implicated mm. or is alleged that the Forestry Commission Mm -hmm. uh, the Minister of Lands and Natural Resources, uh, GRA customs, mm -hmm. uh, MVP uh, party officials were complicit. Which party officials? No, that is what the report said. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it. Mm -hmm. and, and you can read it. It is, it is there for everyone to see. Right. We're complicit. And then you go and put together a committee that largely draws from all of these mm -hmm. groups mm -hmm. with only two persons who are from independent backgrounds, somebody from the business community mm -hmm. and somebody from the civil society community. Right. You cannot expect that these persons would, would make any adverse findings against themselves. That's, so, that's prejudicial. Yeah, yeah, but it was obvious. I mean, did you truly expect the minister to, to come out with a report or a committee chaired by the deputy minister to say that MPP bigwigs or government officials were culpable? You know, as far and as I'm the, saying that's prejudicial. You have not well, given them the oxygen to breathe. I, I, I didn't them. because I knew the outcome. And the outcome has proven me right. And that was why I chose to file a petition mm. with the Office of the Special Prosecutor because I believed that given his mandate and the powers that 
he has to deal with. Mm. He has the capacity to get to the bottom of this issue. But one of the other reasons why I find Quick, the work quickly, of the, so of the, of the committee is questionable mm. is that the key entities that I believe should have been invited to appear and give testimony, mm. the, I, the EIA, the Environmental Investigation Agency, mm. and Joy FM reporter Opoku Gapo, right. who also did a very fantastic expose, mm. Mm. and many, many other journalists who have done work on this mm. issue, they were never invited. Why, why, look at they, the why were they not invited? Just look at the methodology. Methodology. This is the committee's presentation to the mm. minister. Mm. Obviously, they don't know I have it, but I do. Dex study of existing reports, including the EIA report, mm. survey permits, contracts, the 2013 and 2017 Rosewood Inventory Report by RMSC. How do you conduct an investigation of this nature, which is indicting or alleging mm. that government party and commission officials are implicated by doing a Dex? A desk I, I also see field, field trips, existence. field trips, field and trips. assessment yes. of, the, of the regions. Which is good, but mm. even the field trips, I can tell you on authority mm. that some of the hot spots were not visited. Some of the hot spots were not visited. So I said earlier on that this committee was put together. Are you, are you to throwing cover your hands up in despair? No, I can't do that. Because every Ghanaian who believes in protecting the environment and protecting the northern ecological forest must stand up and fight because we can no longer depend on the state are you saying there's official publicity but it is obvious how can it be going on even today as we speak it is still happening Rosewood is spite, being cut. it is being cut only yesterday i got reports and i've made contacts we are we are getting reports from the upper west from the upper east it is still happening this is in spite of a reinforced ban this is in, in spite of the committee's work <laughs> So it is obvious the, that the, the licenses have ceased. The state they have stopped giving licenses out. Have, have they not? Do you know that they have given licenses going all the way to December 2020? But the government says it has stopped giving licenses. Look, there is so one where, thing where are you getting to be said, mm. and there is one thing that is the truth. We are not being told the full story. And the reason why this menace might more like Gallam say mm. is difficult to nip in the bud is because of official complicity. And the, the strategy is the same. Mm. Use these avenues to build your campaign war chest. That is what is happening. And okay, Bobo, uh, two minutes, I beg your pardon. It's, it's unbelievable. Are, are you guilty as charged, in quotes? You see, I, 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 I was impressed by Chief Abak's uh, interest mm. in the Rosewood matter. But sitting here listening to him, mm. I'm, I'm amazed. Wouldn't you have served the national interest better if you had appeared before the committee? No. Stated your case mm. and let them disregard your comments in the report. Rather than coming to sit on TV and play to the government. said it, it doesn't trust the committee. But at least go. No, but make I, your case and I, let I the people... And hold on, hold on. He said they, invite, in they yes. invited you and you, you, you chose yes, not to go. I'm go. asking... He wrote back to them. That your love speeches. for this country, your love for protecting the northern ecolo ecological forest would not have been said best by your appearing and making your case before the committee for them to even disregard. So the people of Ghana mm. would see that, ah, Honorable Apak appeared before the committee, but the committee disregarded his comments input and provided a report. Be that as a we did that, not does have that, 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 that water down I, I, no, hold on. It, it tells you mm. clearly the motive behind the kind of thing. What was the motive? Ah, but is it not obvious that it's political? Is it not? You see, here and right? see. No, hold on. Not to appear oh, I don't have committee. a problem. The <laughs> trees are being cut. Oh, no. I, I, that's, and I, I have no faith in the committee to begin with. I said I admire your interest in it. But the trees are being cut still. I don't have any evidence to that effect. That's what he says. And he failed to go before the committee. He did fail. But you come and sit on TV3 and say it. That's because I had no faith in the committee. But go! If the composition of the That's committee was different, I would have appeared. Go before I the committee. I chose not to allow myself okay. to become but, part of a cover-up. Okay. I tell you and that, that is my motive. motive. Where do we go from here? His motive. Where do we go from His here? His motive. Where do we go from here? And say MPP party groups. That is what they call okay. it. Okay. Thank you. you. Yeah, it's it's Andrew, come and sit on TV. Andrew Pat Mesa is the member of parliament for the second time. Like your so-called cash for CTI. He is also a member of the MPP's committee. And Dr. Clement Apart is the...
the MP for Bulsa South constituency uh, all the way up north, and he was here on the ticket of the uh, NDC. Gentlemen, I thank you very much indeed. Yes, Bobo, yes, I, wish, yes. I wish you were for the 25th. <laughs>